Good morning, I'm Robin Miller, and we're going to install Mandriva 2007. That's the free version today. This is the first of two videos. When you first boot up, you'll see with that DVD, in my case, in the slot, we down-click one, just using our arrow keys, click installation, and boom, it starts loading from that DVD. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, we have that little progress bar going across and uh, we can skip some of that so we'll fast forward to right here where we choose our language in my case i'm going to choose american english there's a large selection for the rest of the world here's the license agreement well let's read it i actually like to read all the license agreements for all the software i own often depressing reading but this one actually like with most linux distributions is pretty good compared to most proprietary software ones so we have read that, we accept, we click next. We click next a lot in this, not an overly large number of times. But now let's choose our security level. Standard is okay for you know your basic computer connected to the internet. I like high, which will um, be more secure. Now I'm going to partition and I'm going to use all the free space available. In this case, I'm working with VMware, so this is an 8 gigabyte partition, and it's formatting. You can see it going across, and it'll do this a number of times. So we'll once again fast forward and go to the next place our attention is required, which is right here where we have to click next I'm gonna use the DVD now if you had a bunch of CDs instead of a DVD you could copy them all to the hard drive and then install from there instead of having to swap out the CDs rather three or four times and the um, entire installation here does have a total of CDs assuming you downloaded all four of the free Mandriva 2007 now let's decide what packages what we want our computer to do Office Workstation. I'm going to add Game Station because I like my games. Multimedia, yeah, Internet. Um, let's see what else. Network Computer. I think I'll add that because I like to have SSH and some of that sort of thing. Configuration Console Tools. I'm not going to do any development. I can download documentation and I think it's supposed to be LSB compliant. No servers because I'm not going to use this as a server. It's a desktop so next because I'm also going to only use the KDE default desktop and if I want others I can install them later. So here we are with the actual installation happening. This is going to take depending on the speed of your computer and your CD or DVD drive anywhere from oh say 10 to 30 minutes. You can click over here and get details and you can watch each package being installed. They scroll by fairly quickly and unless you knew what know what they all are this won't do you a lot of good your choice either stick there or go to no details and you'll see time remaining 13 minutes 14 minutes 15 minutes 13 minutes well all these things are inexact no matter what you're installing what we're really watching here is a series of ads for commercial software that can be added to Mandriva eh, so we'll fast forward through those and go to this screen which is what you see when it's just about done about 10 seconds before it finishes and we start the post install configuration this is important stuff and you have to kind of be alert here although if you went away you can wait and it'll wait for you the root password this is about the most important thing you can do and you cannot forget it you must write it down or remember it and you have to type it twice to make sure you got it right Remember, you've got to know this password to get into this computer again. Write it down, then click Next. And after that, we go to entering a user. I'm going to use Rob Limo, my well-known screen name, instead of my real, real name. And then if I click down here, it automatically gives me that as a login name. This password is not as essential because if you know your root password, you can go in and change user passwords. Except user. Oh, except for one thing. I think I want to have a cute icon. Hmm. So those are my choices here already in. Um, kitty, I have a cat. I have a dog, doesn't look like that. Hey, that looks like just like one of the goldfish in my pond. Okay, except user. 
we could add more users later. There's no point in doing it again. So next. Now it's going to be doing this little installing thing again, including like your bootloader and a little blue bar will go across multiple times, zip, zip, zip. Clicking details won't really do you any good because they're all so short that there's no time for details to come up. See? I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Eh, fast forward through those. It's about three minutes worth. And here we come to a blank white square and then we have a summary, an installation summary. And we see what is and is not configured. Well, let's see. I don't have a printer plugged in. Everything is configured except want that graphical interface. And I certainly do want that, so I click here to configure. As I said, I'm using VMware, so we'll want the virtual video card. Most video cards are auto-detected, and you don't have to do anything. In fact, this one was too, so all you have to do is really just click Next if it's selected yours. Graphic card options. Well, yeah. Once again, I'm going to go for the defaults. I like the transparency and the composite extension. I can read up on them later, and I do want the GUI to run at startup. Now I have to choose, and notice that the blue bar is on a default, generic 1024 by 768 at 60 hertz. By gosh, my monitor will do that. You'll notice you can also select by vendor, and by size and type, you know, for bigger and smaller ones, and LCD, that's the flat panels, and so on. Your choice. In my case, I generally stick with the defaults. 1024 by 768, 16 million colors ought to be enough for anybody. Okay, everything is now pretty much set up, so we go to next and hope that everything is working right. It almost certainly is. Now, let's try to download some updates. It's always good to see if there's any security fixes. Next. Huh, failed contact. Well, maybe our, gosh, failed contacting. Wonder if our network's set up. Well, we can do that later, so forget it. So we'll not try it again. Nah, we'll just go forward. We'll come back to that later. Right now, let's just get the installation done. And, you know, we are done. So we click Reboot, and it's down for the count, and we'll come back in the next video and actually set up and start messing with Mandriva 2007, the free version.